A PlayStation State of Play with Hogwarts Legacy coming this week. Well, brilliant. The best geek news for Muggles. Hey yo, welcome back from the weekend. Let's tackle some news. PlayStation has officially announced a new state of play that will be entirely dedicated to the upcoming video game Hogwarts Legacy. It'll take place this coming Thursday, March 17th at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, and will include a bunch of news, a look at gameplay, and many assume we'll be getting a firm release date as the game is currently planned for release at some point this year. I just want to know whether or not Harry Potter himself is in the game. Freak it. You're Harry Potter! Speaking of Mr. Potter, over the weekend at South by Southwest, my boy BD got a chance to ask Daniel Radcliffe about being fan-casted as Wolverine, so check it out. There's a lot of fans who Wolverine. think of Wolverine. I mean, mate, I, yes, people, it's it's the most so you did hear point it. people. Because so many times people come up to me like, hey man, I heard the Wolverine news, that's really cool. I'm like, mate, it's not, I don't know anything about it. Like, I appreciate that somebody has clearly gone like, Wolverine's actually short in the comic books, we should get like a short guy to do it. But, but I don't, I don't, I don't see my, I don't see them going from Hugh Jackman to me afterwards, but who knows? Prove me wrong, Marvel. And Daniel seems like just the best guy, but I'm still firmly in the cast and unknown actor as Wolverine Club. Come on, Bob, for old time's sake, huh? Real quick, in case you missed it, THR reported last Friday that Deadpool 3 will be directed by Sean Levy, reuniting him with Ryan Reynolds for a third time after Free Guy and The Atom Project. Look, honey, they like each other. The final trailer for Sonic 2 was released today, and like most trailers from movies I've already decided I'm gonna see, I'm skipping on this trailer and waiting for the movie. But I wanted to let you know it's out there for your viewing pleasure in case you were unaware. This guy? It's something else. An official merger between Warner Media and Discovery has been in the works for quite some time, and with both companies owning streaming services, Variety has revealed that once the merger is complete, HBO Max and Discovery Plus will merge into one service. How can they stop us now? In a new interview at South by Southwest, Nicolas Cage admitted there's a villain he would love to play in a Batman sequel. Um, <clears throat> the villain that Vincent Price played on the 60s show Egghead. Uh-huh. Yeah, I think I want to... Have a go at Egghead. A big yes to Nicolas Cage's Egghead, though selfishly. Really feel like Nick missed a slam dunk by not saying he wants a crack at Egghead. Crack an egg on it. It was also announced yesterday that Scott Hall, most famous for his legendary run in WCW with the NWO and in WWE as Razor Ramon, suffered complications from surgery and was placed on life support. In a really emotional post, Kevin Nash announced that Scott's family would be removing him from life support today. In a small update from Sean Waltman and Dave Meltzer, Scott Hall was removed from life support, but as of this filming, is still alive. While Scott's situation is still dire, all of us at comicbook.com are wishing him the best. As a kid, I still distinctly remember Scott Hall jumping the guardrail and coming out of the crowd to kickstart what would be, in my opinion, the most exciting wrestling angle of all time. Unfortunately, today we have to end the show on some sadder news. Yesterday, William Hurt passed away at the age of 71. In 1985, Hurt won the Academy Award for Kiss of the Spider Woman, but as you know, Hurt was most famous to all of us as the MCU's General Ross. As a fan, I've long hoped that we'd get to see him transform into a live-action Red Hulk, but as is, his last appearance in the MCU was in Black Widow. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to rewatch The Incredible Hulk and chase it with Razor Ramon's WrestleMania 10 ladder match, but I'll leave you with this. In the immortal words of Scott Hall, hard work pays off, dreams come true, bad times don't last, but bad guys do.